Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's gonna be a quick video tonight. It's because I haven't put anything out since Friday. Uh, I shot some video, but I haven't edited anything, put it out. Just you know, I don't know. Some of it's laziness. Some of it's just you know, wore out. Not feeling well. Uh, but I thought I might ought to get on here today before everybody loses interest <laughs> anyway uh, didn't go to work today which I really don't like doing unless I can take a vacation day but I couldn't because I got to put in a 24 hour notice to do that so but I was up a lot during the night with my back and hips so just you know Plus, my sinuses are acting up, and just didn't feel good. So, I called in, took a sick day. But anyway, Rhonda talked me into going to the doctor. She really didn't have to talk too awful hard. Because, you know, this back thing's getting old. I'm getting up in the morning and uh, taking hours to get to where I can move good or at least move without hurting uh, it's starting to get old and I'm not you know I'm not looking for sympathy and I think what's going to come of it all is just a fact of getting older you know I took a well <laughs> a fall off the porch fell right on my tailbone probably a about a five foot fall all together you know from the was standing on the top step of the porch was icy and slipped and missed every step except for the bottom one <laughs> and the porch itself is about three foot high I think and then you know the height of where my tailbone usually sets and I'm talking to y'all, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I walked to get the hose to water the pigs again. They're using a lot of water lately. So anyway, went to the doctor today. I went to the doctor before. Not really about that, but I brought it up. And, oh, that was a little over a year ago. I didn't seem too concerned about it. Well, the doctor today thought maybe we ought to get some x-rays. So that's what I did. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't expect any earth-shattering news or anything. I'm just going to tell me, well, you're old and fat and got arthritis in it, so. <laughs> Nothing new there. Anyway, that's my poor excuse for not getting any more videos out. And we're fixing to get a storm here, it looks like. But, still give these pigs some water here. <coughs> I'll put y'all down a minute. All right, uh, I told you all that I would uh, show the, the successes I have as well as the failures. Well, I haven't, has not been a total failure, but I made a mistake last week. We moved the pin out and uh, I didn't get enough shade put back up for my pigs. And they weren't feeling too good yesterday because of it. Uh, so today, me and Ethan got the shade fixed back up like it should be. And they're acting a little better now. And I've watered them twice today. And looks like uh, I'm watering them now. That'd be three times. So... 
you know, if you're if you're going to be raising pigs and uh, you don't have a place that has natural shade for them, you've got to provide shade. You just you got to. And I think luckily I caught it in time. Everybody's up and acting better now. So. But I also have some concerns while well, I was, you know, trying to, doing some research. Uh, I ran across some information that a lot of these uh, meat production pigs, like I bought for this, for us here, they have some... Uh, uh, leg and joint issues, especially in the front end. So that concerns me. And, you know, we'll see how that goes. I, you know, it's caused me to question whether or not I should be breeding with the pigs I've got, you know. I mean, I know that I, I want a meat-type pig, but I really don't want one that's, you know, especially in my breeding sows, that's got a genetic problem, joint issue. So, uh, I'll have to keep an eye on that and see what goes on. Quiet, leave that hose alone. Okay, well, they're chewing on the hose and just dumped about half the water I put in their trough. Uh. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, Deuce and his little buddy here. Let me shut you off, switch you around so you can see them. They are doing great. It was just horsing around there. baby animals do. They've been doing good. They have shade. Yeah, there they go playing. Yeah, look, these guys just they just keep dumping the water out. They think they've got a stand in the trough to drink. So Deuce has got to get in here and mess around in the water they dumped out. Anyway, like I said, I just wanted to get on here and do a short video, you know, get it posted up tonight, let you all know what's going on, in case anybody's interested. I swear he's grown about three inches longer. In case you're wondering, I'll just let you know why there's concrete blocks in the pig pen, so that I can step over that and get in there and do whatever I need to do got some over on the other side of the pig pen too for the, in the bigger pen but, you know well, like I said I may need to put this up I had to be inside there today so we'll uh, that's what they're doing there and you know looks like we're gonna get some rain this evening here in just a little is southwest it's almost due west the northwest so looks like it's headed our way we got the pigs just a little extra water so that went ahead and got them a cool drink of water even though it's going to rain all right so that's just, that's that's a short update on what's going on here let me give the little pigs some cool drink of water. But, and if anything crazy turns out on my back, I'll let everybody know. And then, like, for me right now, I'm thinking my worst case scenario is uh, have to take some uh, 
Oh, steroid shots in my back, which I really don't want, but, you know. We'll see. Uh, we'll do squirrel around. I'm watching him. But that's the, the status of things going on here on our little piece of the prairie. Uh, you know, you know how back injuries can be, you know. I don't think some of them ever quite heal up, right? And I think this is one of them. Uh, the doctor told me that, well, I might have fractured it at the time. And, you know, it didn't heal up quite right. And I got some arthritis in there, which, you know, I already have some arthritis issues. So... Just, you know, I'd like to be able to get out of bed or like to sleep all night without hurting. That'd be nice. And, uh, uh, like I said, be able to get out of bed and be able to walk right away. So, anyway, that's enough of that. I'm headed over here to look at the puppies and, uh, see how they're doing. Timmy's not. I looked at it uh, yesterday evening, and it looks to me like it's gotten smaller. It's getting harder, too, so, you know. Uh, I still don't have a clue what the deal is there, but anyway. We're over here at Ms. Lady's house. She's in there feeding her puppies, and so I'm not going to be able to get any pictures the way she's in there. Oh, well... She's going to move a little bit. Let me see if I can get some. There they are. Down there, he's asleep and he don't care. His mothers are they're wondering where mama went. Because they was eating. She's out here jacking my hair. Well, I guess they're just going to settle down. They must have been about done. But that's them. And, uh... Oh, Ethan snuck in behind me feeding the dogs. Go over there looking at the puppies now. But we we might have found a home for one of them already. Uh, we went down to mom and spent some time with mom because yesterday I took her out to eat. And uh, because <clears throat> her birthday was Friday. So, we, we did that when she got off work yesterday. Uh, she's 73 years old. Still working. <laughs> I mean, they made them tough back then. You know. But, you know, I'm all for it as long as she can handle it. And, you know, at least she gets this away. She gets some extra cash over her Social Security, which... You know, isn't too much, and uh, she gets to have a little extra spending money for whatever, you know. So, I'm all about that, and it gives her a little bit of social interaction with people. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> I was talking about puppies before I started that one, I... <laughs> Uh, anyway, I asked her, because she'd been looking for a pup here a while back. And, you know, she'd asked me about a breed, but, you know, I guess she never went ahead and got that one. And so I told her last, last night that we had puppies while we was talking. I asked her if she was interested. She said, I'll have to come up and look at them. She asked me what kind they were, and I told her. And she said, well, that might work for what I want. Because she wants one that, you know, she can work with and train to lead and, and take walking with her because she goes walking. And, you know, being an elderly lady, and she uh, has a few concerns about her safety. Uh, was it two years ago? Her and her cousin went walking 
on one of the local walking trails down around Joplin. And uh, while they were walking, somebody broke into Mom's car, bu busted back glass out of it, and stole her cousin's purse. Fortunately, they didn't find Mom's. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, she's a little more cautious. Uh, she doesn't like to go walking if, unless she takes my nephew. Which, you know, I, I, I'm i glad of that. But she does like to go walking, so... If they grow up and, and it looks like they will look like pets, then they'll be a little bit of a deterrent. Because they should be a big dog with a big head. And, you know, a lot of people think that Patch is a pit bull. <laughs> Ethan still argues that he is. And, you know, we've explained it to him. No, he's not a pit bull. But anyway. So, one of them may have a good home. So, if you know anybody else looking for a good-sized outdoor dog... And, you know, we're going to have some here in about seven weeks. Uh, like I said in another video, they might make good hunting dogs. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess I've caught you all up on everything that's going on. So, I guess we'll wind this video up here. And uh, let's look out for each other. Let's try to help each other every every chance we get and let's pray for each other who man we need it so and we'll catch you later